to University TV. I'm Natalie joining you from Bucknell University, the largest private liberal arts university in the country. You ready for the tour? Let's go! Bucknell University is located along the banks of the Susquehanna River in the town of Lewisburg in central Pennsylvania. Downtown Lewisburg is just a short walk from Bucknell campus, featuring a variety of unusual shops, coffee shops, restaurants, museums, galleries, and so much more. You can also take a road trip to larger cities like NYC, Philly, and Washington, D.C. All are about three hours from Lewisburg. Bucknell's 450-acre campus is home to more than 100 buildings, including the Y Center for the Performing Arts and an athletic center with an Olympic-sized pool. The university offers other cool features like the Bucknell Golf Course and two university art galleries. One of the things that drew me to Bucknell was just the feel that I got here. Uh, I remember the first time I was on campus, I stood up on the quad, looked out over the rolling hills in the back with the steeple of the library behind me. I just got this cheesy grin on my face and I haven't been able to knock it off since I came here. Enrollment at Bucknell consists of 3,500 undergraduates plus another 100 graduate students. Students come from 46 states and 66 countries. For over the summer, we'll have bison gatherings around the country to allow students and families to meet current and past Bucknellians as well as meet their peers. So that as a group, the students who enroll at Bucknell have already started to build that connection with each other. As one of the most selective institutions in the country, the class of 2015's undergraduate acceptance rate was just 27%. In addition to that, 81% of students accepted into Bucknell were in the top 10% of their class. Incoming students averaged an SAT math score ranging between 630 to 710, an SAT critical reading score between 590 and 680, and ACT scores ranging between 27 to 31. In the 2010-2011 edition, Kiplinger ranked Bucknell 22nd in terms of best value among liberal arts colleges in the U.S. in terms of academic quality, costs, and financial aid measures. Tuition is just over $45,000, almost $11,000 for basic room and board, and $246 for student activity fees. But that's just the sticker price. More than half of all students receive need-based financial aid from Bucknell. 97% of the class of 2011 were employed in graduate school, volunteering or traveling within nine months of graduation. Forbes rates Bucknell 48th among America's best colleges. The university offers more than 50 majors and 65 minors in the arts, engineering, humanities, management, and social and natural sciences. The undergraduate engineering programs here are typically noted among the best in the country for colleges that don't offer the PhD. And we, what we believe here at Bucknell is each of our programs is solely focused on undergraduate education as, as its first priority. I'm in chemical engineering and we do lots of fun things inside and outside of the classroom. I'm involved in Engineering Success Alliance where we go to different companies to meet CEOs of just amazing places. An enormous percentage of our students go overseas every year uh, to Europe. We are developing programs in Africa. There's one in South Africa now. And they also go to other programs outside of the Bucknell Inn program. Professors here at Bucknell are really approachable, friendly, and they really care about their students. You won't slip through the cracks here at Bucknell. You're going to have a tight relationship with a faculty member. You know, that, that tight relationship is not going to be help you learn more. It's going to get you that internship. It's going to be great advising on graduate school or jobs. The 27 Bison athletic teams compete in the Patriot League at the Division I level in D1 AA football. Fact, Bucknell football won the first Orange Bowl over the Miami Hurricanes back in 1935. Way to go, guys! My freshman year, I lived in a quad, which is four girls in one room. It was wonderful to have that experience. Most of my freshman hall are my best friends still. Uh, we hang out all the time. We still live together. We made Thanksgiving dinner last semester. My friend Brenda Turkey. There are over 150 student clubs and organizations, as well as Greek organizations that you can join sophomore year. Students are very much involved in service learning. Uh, they do community-based um, service activities throughout the Lewisburg area. The river has become a site of real excitement. There are kayaking um, excursions every semester that students can participate in. There are explorations of the geography through hiking. You will have plenty of options to stay active, over 40 in fact. Rec sports and intramurals include options like cycling, rugby, crew, and ultimate frisbee. Use this state-of-the-art fitness facility. It's free for students. 
<gasps> One more mile to go. <sighs> Bucknell is um, extraordinarily immersed in tradition. One of my favorite traditions that I can talk about is for incoming students on the academic quad. The students are welcomed into the community. Um, faculty hold candles and the students also then light those candles and it becomes a kind of entrance into Bucknell, a citizen of Bucknell. Thanks for joining me on our tour of Bucknell University. I actually decided to stay a little longer and head downtown to catch a movie. For University TV, I'm Natalie and I'll see you guys later.